Bon la cal, my garden of roses. Let's talk about Hillary Clinton's cameo at the Grammys last night. Now, Hillary Clinton made a surprise showing at the Grammys last night with a pre-recorded video in which she and a few others read segments from Michael Wolff's new book, Fire and Fury, Inside the Trump White House. In what is a further politicization of an awards show and events like it. NBC reported a marked drop in viewers last night after the stunt, in which the host of the ceremony, James Corbin, set up a bit about who might win next year's Spoken Word Album Award before playing the video, which concluded with Hillary Clinton reading from the book herself and James Corbin assuring her that she is a shoe in for next year's Grammy for Spoken Word. Fire and Fury has been a media favorite despite Michael Wolff's long history of dishonest publications and the book faltering in sales beyond its first week. And I couldn't help but see the entire scene as masturbatory to all those involved, most of whom were individuals who donated to Hillary Clinton's campaign and supported her rather vocally before her embarrassing defeat at the end of 2016. Hollywood dominated the crowd in the audience and gave Clinton wild applause afterward, which comes as little surprise, both with the political leanings that have been shown by Hollywood and entertainment elites, as well as the fact that every applause break is strategically planned and prompted. According to reports on the matter, it's said that it took a few days to convince Hillary Clinton to do the bit, which I think must be embarrassing to some degree for her. She continually gets fewer and fewer options to speak on the political stage and is more and more having to resort to making a show of herself in entertainment spheres. Honestly, I think I've heard from Obama in the last year more than I've heard from Hillary Clinton. And every time Hillary Clinton comes out, it comes with a lot of backlash for her. Sure, she has a supportive base that love her to death and will cry out, never Trump, impeach, and all that bullshit. But the fact of the matter is, she has so little influence that the only things she can do at this point is get a spot on MSNBC or a spot on the Grammys, and I'm concerned eventually there's not going to be enough room for her anywhere, and the only thing she's going to be able to do is get a spot next to Whoopi Goldberg on The View. It's almost like watching a, an older actor lose themselves uh, and slowly dive into, you know, daytime television because it's, it's pathetic. They're not willing to work for their job. They're not willing to put in the effort to get new shows or they just feel so comfortable with the money that they already have that they just don't feel the need to actually do anything of true value. Instead, going out there and making a public showing so that people will still listen to them, so that people will remember them. It's remarkably sad. And it's doubly sad because it's Hillary Clinton. The woman, at one point, was a political powerhouse, running the State Department, uh, having control over so much of what came in and out of the United States, and having the support and love of Barack Obama, who went out of his way to assist her campaign, to, to promote her campaign and completely dismiss her competitors, both Democrats and Republicans. At this point, I really wonder what she's going to be doing next, if it, because I wouldn't be surprised if she ended up on The View, no different than any of those other women who most people can't list off other than maybe Whoopi Goldberg for her role in Sister Act and knowing how much of a, a brat she can be on The View. And if this is what Hillary Clinton's career is meant to be, I don't think it looks very good for the Democrats in the midterm elections or the 2020 uh, general election because let's face it, did they, the Democrats don't have a better option right now. If Hillary Clinton is the best that they have, then what is going to happen in tw uh, at the end of this year when Americans go to the polls to vote for their senators? I'm afraid we're going to be seeing a much greater push 
for a Senate majority in Republicans, even if a good percentage of those Republicans are entirely funded by Koch brothers, which is something I completely disagree with. And I most certainly hope that if you're out there, you're going to be voting for someone of true substance, someone who actually cares about you rather than the investments that they've gotten from the Koch brothers and other giant corporations who play both sides of the fence. I'm looking at you, Goldman Sachs. I'm looking at you, Bank of America. But yeah, Hillary Clinton has less and less had any influence. And at this point, I sometimes think that her appearances that she makes on television and on shows is a bit of a meme in and of itself. And that the left is mostly patronizing her because they feel bad for her. And if that's the case, how can she have any pride left. Now, this was just a short thing that I felt like talking about because it was really stupid. It was really weird to watch. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So please comment below and I'll try to respond to them in my Saturday show. But until next time, bonsoir. Mm -hmm.